so I'm here for a video and today is Tuesday so I'm again going to be doing another Tuesday video. Again, sorry about the lighting, I was working until 8.30 tonight, then I had to get home, then I had to eat dinner and do a lot of stuff and now it's 10 o'clock but I'm still here to do my videos. But anyway, today's theme is my top five books with an orange cover. Now again, I have read all the books in this list, I'm very excited about that. Most of the time I've only read like three of the books so I feel like I'm doing better with pink and orange so I'm very excited but anyway let's get into this. Five on my list is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Now I know this is kind of a cheat because every penguin book looks like this so I looks like this so I could say any book of Pride like any book of penguins written like this. This story was really great like I this is the only Jane Austen book I've read. I own all of them but I haven't read the others because I just was a bit you know as I was reading this, like it was a bit hard to get through because I hadn't read contemporary really much before this, but yeah, it was a bit boring, but I got through it and it was a really good story. I do like the movie with Kira Knightley better because it only takes two hours of my time. I think it took me like a month to read this because I was just reading it like page by page and it's really tiny writing this version, but it's got orange on it so it works. The next book I have is The Elite by Kira Cass. And this is kind of reddish orange, but make it count, make it count, because I think it does. Now, this book was really like, the whole series are great. Like, I think I like the one the most out of the books, but The Elite was also good as well, because the world building had already been developed in the previous book of the selection, and you the, like this book really got more in depth with the characters, and so many more interesting things were occurring. So I really enjoyed that aspect of this book, and there was a lot of just fun, quirky things happening, which was really fun. Yeah. Number three on my list is Hidden by PC and Kristen Cast. Kristen? Make sure I'm saying that right. Now this is a really beautiful cover. I really enjoy it and I'm happy that it's orange. This is like the book where like shit really went down. Like I think it's book 10 of the whole series but this is where it all happened and it was just like <gasps> oh <laughs> and it was so great, so intense and this book was just really enjoyable. Had a lot of aspects in it that made the series amazing. And yeah, this book was just so much fun. Number two on my list is Fi The Fiery Heart by Rochelle Mead. Now this is my favourite book out of the whole entire Bloodline series because it's finally the book where my bays finally get together, they're dating, it's happened, it took three books of angst and to finally for them to get together and it happened and I'm just like, yes, finally. They are in love. Like, I really am so happy. I love Sid Sydney and Adrian. They're such a great pair. So enjoyable. And I just... This book was so great. And they're just... They're such... Adrian's so funny. He makes this book so amazing. And it's, he's great. Love him so much. And number one on my list is a book you can probably guess. And that is Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Now, I loved this book. I didn't even know I would love it this much, but I do. It's just... It's just oh, it was so amazing, this book. I loved the characters. I loved the cricket. Cricket is my bae. And I just loved the fact that, you know, you don't get this, um, like, as much in books that the main character, the girl is dating someone and then someone else comes into her life that she used to love and she's got to choose between them that way. Normally it's, you know, a boy comes in and another boy comes in and then she's got to choose between them. But have her, to have her pre-dating this other guy is so interesting. They also do it though that another guy, like, in other, like you had the main girl and she's single and then there's the guy that she loves but he's dating someone. So it's very interesting how they have this book set out and I just love the premise and it's so great. Such an amazing book. Here are all of my orange books. I think this is a pretty good stack of orange happening here. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you later.